Hello, hello everyone. I am really delighted to return today just to share and let you know about my stand with the war in the Middle East. I have posted sporadically photos in my personal views for a long time since the war, war began. And I just thought I should make it known clearly that I support and stand with Israel. Uh, I feel really sad at the loss of lives on both sides of this war, which could have been avoided, which was not called for. But I do not believe that any nation in the world, any other nation in the world, would have been expected to just remain silent, to do nothing after the sort of invasion that took place against Israel on October 7th, 2023. So I stand with them. I support them. I have been praying for God to be with them, to give Israel success, total victory over all those going against that nation. Israel is a nation I believe has the hand of God over them. When I read through the Bible, since this war began, actually, yeah, I started reading the Bible again because I was trying to go again from Genesis to Revelation. And the scripture comes to life. As I read, it was even shocking to see that there was Gaza in the Bible. So I know I believe that God has a hand and he's with the nation of Israel. Yes, they, they they must have done things wrong, as in not being alert, allowing such barbaric action to happen against them. I know there are lots of noise made by those that support the terrorists that went against Israel, that attacked and committed all the atrocities that could be committed on that day for as long as they did. I am pretty certain that if they had more time, they would have decimated and completely done the unthinkable to the entire nation of Israel. But thank God that things came back under control. And I am so grateful to God for the victory that is in sight for Israel over this barbaric entity that they're fighting against. Psalms 121 verse 4 says, He who keeps Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers. In the easy translation, it says, Yes, the Lord keeps Israel's people safe. He never gets tired or sleeps at all. God never sleeps. The God of Israel, the God who saw them through those situations in the Bible days, who fought with, for, and through them to give them victory over all that came against them, that God is still there holding up Israel and with them fighting for their survival. Isn't it bizarre how a tiny minority of people have been actively victimized, yet the world won't to stand with those who are going against Israel. It's just incredible. I do not care what buzzwords people churn, manufacture, because it seems like since October, there's one new buzzword that is thrown out there every month. <laughs> Come on, bring it on. Despite your buzzwords, Israel is doing what they should do. Go through history. 
Where are all those who came against them in the past? Where are they? Israel will come out victoriously and they will continue to be ahead, continue to be a powerful force in the world. So I give God the glory. I will continue to pray for the peace of Israel, lift up its people, the leaders, the soldiers, the families of the um, hostages, for God to keep them all and to bring total victory. Whatever, whatever the future holds, I pray that God will take control and make it something that would be remembered as a victorious resounding victory for Israel. So yes, I stand with and I support Israel. They have the right to defend themselves. Leave your comments, leave your views. I know this is a sore point for majority in the world and a lot of people want to support Hamas. Yes, people can hide under the entity called Palestinian, but in, in essence, they're supporting Hamas because Hamas has been proscribed by the world is a terrorist organization. So I will never, ever support terror. Israel has a right to defend herself and Israel is doing that. And my hope and prayer is for them to be victorious so they can live at peace with their neighbors. I thank you for joining me today. I'll be back again on this subject about Israel. Have a good day.